Alright, so I'm going to try to show how to disassemble a Dell Inspiron model 15-7577. So this is kind of hard to show on camera because um, I have to mount the camera weird. Um, I already pre-disassembled some parts to make it easier, but um, here we go. So first what you want to do is remove this screw, or it'll stay in there, but you just undo the screw. Once you do it, you can actually get your hands in there and you can kind of just pry around to get it out. Okay. It'll come out pretty easily. There's some clips here, but yeah, you just pull on it. Okay, then what you want to do is remove the four screws on the back here. So I already removed them. Once you get the four screws out, you'll need something thin or your fingernails or a pry tool to kind of lift this because there's a little raised part that's in these little triangles. And once you, while you're lifting that, kind of just pull on it. And you're going to need to use a lot of force, but you basically just pull on it and this piece will come out. You'll have to pull pretty hard. Um, and both sides, they have the little part sticking up that you need to lift up there. Okay. Once you do that, then you want to remove all the screws from the bottom. So start with the battery. Um, to remove the battery, um, you basically just get your fingers on the edges or pry tools and you kind of just wiggle and pull it. Okay. There's three screws holding the battery in. So there's one here, one here, and one here. Okay, once you do that, you can lift the battery out. All right. After you get the battery out, you'll want to remove the hard drive. There'll be four screws holding it. There's two here and two here. The rubber things might make it a little stuck, so you're going to have to try and pull it. But basically, you flip this little white tab up, then grab the blue part, and you kind of just pull that. All right. After you get the four screws, you can pull the hard drive up. If it's stuck, be careful. Um, I would pry from the metal piece, not from like here, because you can break the connector off. But basically, you pull on that, okay? And then you can set that aside. Then you got the SSD. Um, this is an M.2 um, SATA SSD. So when you remove the screw, it's going to pop up like this. Then you can just wiggle it out and pull it like that. Okay, so this is, yeah, M.2 SATA SSD. Sorry, it's not focusing for some reason. There you go. Yeah. All right. The hard drive is a regular 2.5-inch SATA um, hard drive. You can replace it with an SSD as well. Um, then the wireless card, you remove the screw here. You slide this um, clear plastic piece back, and then you can kind of pull it out. All right. Um, and then what you want to do to remove the antenna connectors, the easiest way I found is you can lift the card up and then kind of just hold on the antenna. And while you're holding on it, just push the card down. So that way it pulls the antenna at this angle from the tail. Okay, don't try and pull it from the front here. You want to pull it from the tail. Okay, so again, you can lift it, hold the antenna, and then push this down. Okay, just like that. And you can move these aside. Then you can, same thing with the wireless card, just at an angle, wiggle it and pull it out. All right. Um, you can remove the CMOS battery. Um, if you want to be safe, um, after you remove the two batteries, um, you can open it and then you can hold the power button. Um, just hold it for like 30 seconds. All right. Just to be safe. Usually a few seconds is enough, but 30 seconds to be safe. I already kind of did that. So there you go. Then you got the wireless antennas. You want to... Um, thread them out and take, put it aside. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be getting all of this in camera, but we'll see. Okay. Just like that. Just like that. Okay. Thread it out. All right. Then you got this connector. It's a little bit difficult to see, but you lift this part and then you can kind of just wiggle it as you pull on this piece. Okay. Just wiggle it and keep wiggling and pulling. And it should pop out. There you go. Just like that. So you see the connector here. All right. And then you just, there's tape underneath. When you peel the tape, try and get as close to where it's peeled up as possible. Don't just like yank from one side and then peel the whole thing because it can damage the cable. All right. So set that aside. This connector, it'll actually be under this metal piece. So you basically just take this one screw out and then you can remove that. So this part will be folded down. You basically just flip this plastic piece up and then you can just pull on it. It's going to be difficult. So what I do when I pull on this, I actually kind of help with my finger um, to kind of pull this edge up and then you can pull it out like that. Okay. 
And then there's this connector for the DC jack. You actually don't need to remove this because the whole motherboard and everything will be stuck to this panel. Um, but yeah, if you want, you can unplug this. Same thing, you just get your nails on the edges and you kind of peel it, pull it, uh, wiggle it and pull it. All right, then the keyboard and everything, keyboard connector, they all have these little flaps. You flip them up and then you can pull them out. Keyboard, trackpad, all the stuff that's on the front. All right, keyboard backlight. Um, I think this is the trackpad, but there's like so many things here. Let's see here, does this have, oh, I don't know, there's so many pieces. So this looks like, okay, power button. This is for some LEDs. And yeah, this is for the touchpad. So they labeled it, so it's nice. Okay, then there's the BIOS CMOS battery. All right, you can leave that on there, just unplug it. And then the RAM, you can leave those in as well, but I'll take it out so you can see. So this is um, PC4 2400T, okay. All right, so I'm gonna put it back since I don't need to actually remove it. All right. So once you get all these connectors out uh, and everything, there's a whole bunch of screws on the bottom. I don't know if I'm going to remember all of them to tell you, but um, there's one. So after you already removed all the hard drives, there's one, two, three, four, five on the bottom here. Sorry, it's out of frame. Um, and then you got four that are here. All right. And then you got another one here. And then I believe there's another two two, three, four here. Oh, sorry, here. And then you got um, the fan screws. So if you're going to remove the fans, you're going to have to take these, these two from this one out and then these three from this one out. Okay. Then you got the screws here. There's another one here, here, here. And then you got another one. Oh, sorry, here. And another one... Uh, it's hard to do this one. I already took them out. And then there's two here. And then there's another one, two, um, sorry. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So there's four there. And then in the two middle, there's like screws right below it. Okay. Once you do that, um, this is going to be kind of tough to pry this out. But um, basically what you do, oh, let me see here. I don't know if I'll be able to show this. I'm going to have to see if I can move the camera but basically what you want to do let's see here raise this up okay so what you want to do is um, it's easiest if you have the screen open like this 90 degrees um, and basically um, if you pull on this plastic piece here um, you'll see that a gap forms between the two layers up here so you're actually going to need like a pry tool or something to do this um, and you kind of want to be careful because you don't want to stick it too far or you can damage something. Um, so basically, you just go along the edge. And then wherever you feel it's kind of stuck, that's where you kind of have to pry. Let's see if I can give you a better view. Oh, this is going to be tough. You're going to be staring at my crotch, sorry. But um, yeah. So basically, do that. Then you go along. You feel it's stuck again. And you just pry it again. Okay, and I don't know if it's in camera, but I'm doing the best I can, sorry. But yeah, basically just go along the cor the edges like this and pry it up. Okay, so you're going to have to do that on both sides. And then, let's see, it might come out now with just the one side pried, but let's see. So we got that. All right, and then kind of, you can now you can kind of lift it at an angle. I think you actually do have to do both sides so I'm gonna do that side too so same thing as the other one kind of like pull the plastic up and you can get a gap um, oops. so when you have the gap you just stick the little pry tool in don't stick it too far and then you kind of just wherever you feel it's kind of getting stuck you have to pry it on there okay so just go and then pry okay just like that so you can see there's a clip here clip here clip here and a clip here and yeah so that's pretty much how you remove the main board so you can see here the power board um, connector and stuff are all like on this top piece the hinges are all on the top piece with the keyboard 
then you can see all the trackpad and everything okay then on the other side you can actually see the two the fans so if you want it again if you want to remove the fans you have to remove the small fan screws on this side and then after that you'd remove um, the two screws here and the two screws here so on this fan there's actually three screws behind it so once you remove that you can actually pull this connector and to remove the fan from here what you do is you lift the fan at an angle and kind of slowly pull and that'll peel away this tape um, and then on this side basically same thing but there's only two screws on this side the other side has this little um, clip here holding it in place so you actually have to pry this clip while you're pull lifting it up to to basically get the fan out okay because you can see there's sorry it's hard to see what I'm doing but yeah there's the clip there that holds the other part side of the fan in but basically same thing after you remove all the screws and that clip you can lift it at an angle and then slowly peel it away at an angle like that and it'll peel this tape away okay and then you got the um, speaker here, and the other speaker here. They connect at this point right here. And then you can see the motherboard model number here. Okay. And and the DC jack is here. So if you needed to replace that, again, you didn't have to unplug this unless you're replacing the DC jack. And to do that, you have to take the whole motherboard off of this panel. Okay. Um, and other than that, it looks like the video card and the CPU are all soldered to the board, so you can't really replace it, um, other than replacing the whole motherboard. But that's pretty much it, so to put it back, you just do the reverse, um, yeah, flip this over, make sure that, um, the wires for the back are, are not underneath, because you're gonna have to put them on top like this, okay? And then these, all these little cables down here, just make sure you thread them through the holes. But that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you. Um, if it did, please like and subscribe. That'll really help me out. And thanks for watching. Bye.